And I see a dung beetle here, by the way, right in that dimple. So we can see the dung beetle crossing across the top of the manure pat. There's three primary types of dung beetles. There's drillers, there's dwellers, and then there's the rollers or tumblers. This dung beetle that we see working its way across the top of the manure pat and up underneath it now is about the size of the end of your pinky. And those dung beetles are called our dwellers. Dwellers are a mid-sized dung beetle and they tend to tunnel in and out of these manure pats and down into the soil. So as they do that, they're wor and they have winding tunnels through the manure pad and into the soil, and they're working manure into the soil and soil up into the manure as, as they build these tunnels. Another type of dung beetle would be the very small dung beetles called the drillers or tunnelers, and and the drillers are about the size of the top of a pin, a pin head. And so they're very tiny, very hard to see, but when you have a bunch of those, you're gonna see what looks like a lot of little pin prick holes in the top of your manure pats. And they're called drillers because they just work sort of straight up and down from the manure pat into the soil and back up into the manure pat. And then the biggest dung beetles that are about the size of your thumb, <clears throat> those are called rollers or tumblers. And those dung beetles actually form balls of manure out of these manure pats, and then they roll them backwards, pushing them with their hind legs to their burrow in the ground, and roll those manure balls into their burrows in the ground. And typically those burrows are built relatively close to where you see the manure pats. So as we, and there's another dung beetle now showing itself on top of this manure pat, another dweller. So as we continue to build our biology here, then what we see is we start to see a greater and greater prevalence of these many different types of dung beetles returning. And when we have sufficient dung beetle population, what's gonna happen is that they can literally, with enough dung beetles, they can break down these manure patties within just a period of three to five days and manure patties can completely disappear into the soil. And when we can do that, and we've got that type of dung beetle presence, then you're completely breaking, the dung beetles themselves are breaking that fly cycle and that internal parasite or worm cycle in our cattle, because that's where their eggs and larvae are. And when the dung beetles totally break down that patty, then those eggs and larvae desiccate and die. So it's a great way to break those cycles that we think are just inherent with our cattle.